Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Good morning, and then thank you very much for being with us uh, in the 23rd meeting of Research Astronomy in Iran. Uh, <clears throat> my name is Hossein Hafi. On behalf of uh, Scientific Organizing Committee, I'm very happy to welcome you to, to, to the 23rd uh, meeting uh, of Research Astronomy of Iran. This is uh, uh, this annual uh, conference is somehow the General Assembly of uh, Astronomical Society of Iran, and uh, this time is 23rd one. But um, in fact, and from another view, this is the first virtual one, and I hope um, it is the last one uh, because we are uh, very interested to <laughs> to see you here in Zanjan and. Um, I wish to, to, to have you here uh, next year for the next meeting. And uh, before uh, giving the word to, to Professor Karimi, uh, uh, I would like to thank uh, all invited speakers um, uh, that, uh, for accepting my invitation uh, to, to joining us in this meeting. Basically, uh, the, uh, making this event possible and um, and also i would like to thank uh, my colleagues here my student uh, and scientific organizing committee local organizing committee and also a uh, special thank to computer center of isps that uh, actually uh, make this uh, even possible today uh, so now i would like to to uh, invite uh, professor Kat Thank you, Hussein. Uh, thank you for your nice introduction. Do you hear me? Yes. Do, do you have uh, um, my sound? So please. Okay. Thank you very much uh, for your nice introduction, Hossein. Uh, um, um, dear guests, uh, distinguished lecturer, faculty members, and students, welcome. And good morning to all of you from Iran. We are honored to have all of you here to participate and share in 23rd International Meeting on Research in Astronomy, hosted by IASPS. Thank you for joining us. Your active participation serves to remind us all just how important our work is during these uncertain times that coronavirus pandemic affects our daily lives enormously. However, coronavirus has provided us new opportunity to effectively switch from traditional learning to e-learning. And this e-meeting in astronomy and cosmology is one of the typical examples to exhibit our capability in this regard. As you may know, the Institute for Advanced Study in Basic Sciences was founded about 27 years ago by, by Professor Yusuf Subuti, who is also present in this meeting. We are honored to uh, have him here under the auspices of the then Ministry of Culture and Higher Education. Our primary goal at ISPS is to bring about an atmosphere for high-level teaching and research in various fields of basic sciences. This goal along a non-bureaucratic administration and the hard working of my colleagues and students have resulted in 
several achievements, including, for example, ISPS ranks first among all university and research institutes in Iran based on the number of joint publication with internationally well-recognized co-authors. IESPS also ranks first among the all university in Iran on the basis of citation index of scientific publication in Q1 journals. With uh, around 1,100 students, faculty members and 75 staff, our institute has the highest standard according to the regulations of the ministry. IESPS has recognized also as the most visited institute by internationally esteemed researcher among all university and research institute before coronavirus pandemic. We do hope that we will keep this high standard level of international collaboration through various types of emitting and e-collaboration during the coronavirus and post-coronavirus period. As the president of IESPS and on the behalf of my colleague, I would like to express my special thanks to all invited and keynote lecturers who kindly accepted to deliver their talk and beneficial support. I do hope that this event provide many opportunity for more fruitful collaboration between all of you. And before I hand over to Dr. Hossein Hakli, our co coordinator for the present research webinar, who will outline the day events, I want to say once more, welcome. I wish you a very pleasant and productive days during this fantastic webinar. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Karim. Uh, now I would like to invite uh, Professor Tuhuki, the founder of ISPS and the former uh, president of ISPS, to give us the uh, beginning of Hello, everyone. In my own right, I also would like to welcome all the participants, have either both from Iran and from the international community in this uh, research astronomy meeting of uh, ISPS. I should say that in addition to what Professor Karim said about IESPS, uh, this year is the 29th year of the establishment of IESPS. Next year, in 2021, we plan to celebrate the 30th anniversary of IESPS. And I take the opportunity to invite everyone to get uh, with us again to celebrate this event for us. It will be uh, very important for us to see you and other colleagues in our uh, company. In ISPS, we have uh, at least 15 annual meetings. Uh, some of them are established from the very first years of uh, uh, ISPS in 1991. And in fact, the research in astronomy meeting that uh, we are having today is uh, one of the earliest ones. 
that we have established and now we uh, are having to, the 23rd one of these meetings. I have a very short time to continue my welcoming address and I would like to spend uh, the remaining time, two minutes, uh, to, for two news items. Just last night I received a letter from a colleague and a copy of the lectures of Stephen, Stephen Weinberg, which is published by the Cambridge University mm -hmm. Press in uh, this just this year in May. And the title is Lectures in Astrophysics. I went through the the content of this book. It is a very beautiful book, it seemed to me, and it reminded me of my student days that I was taking lectures on, on stars, on physics of stars, physics of stellar systems, and I recommend all astrophysicists to have a look at this book. Evidently, uh, it is available publicly. The second news item is the publication of my latest article uh, in the Journal of Gravitation and Cosmology, uh, published by Springer Nature. It is in the 26th volume, issue one, in pages one to six. And uh, the title of uh, this article is Massive Gravity as an Alternative Gravity. And it might interest some of you to look at it in the journal. Journal is available. It, it's a free access journal. In this article, I'm suggesting that instead of dark matter, let's put the matter, the missing matter or missing gravity in the field itself, uh, at least in the classical uh, level. We do know uh, that Newtonian gravity satisfies the Poisson's equation. But if we make this field massive, Poisson's equation turns into uh, Helmholtz equation. And give uh, the flat rotation curves of the galaxies up to where we have the data, reliable data, and also at very larger distances, it has features that one might be able to explain the uh, tiny oscillations that one finds in most of uh, uh, rotation curves of the uh, galaxies. I think my time is over. And uh, once again, I thank you, all of you for participating in this uh, virtual meeting. And thanks to coronavirus, I should this 23rd meeting of astronomy is the most international one that we've held during these 29 years in this year. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I hope you hear me well. Um, it's a pleasure to join this meeting from the uh, comfort of our office and uh, to say a few words on behalf of the Iranian National Observatory. 
Um, the astronomical community has grown substantially over the past decade or so, and the ISPS astronomy meeting has been a, a important gathering point for the community. I had the pleasure of organizing a few of those early meetings myself, and it's good to so successfully continuing despite the pandemic. So perhaps the biggest event related to astronomy in Iran is now the National Observatory Project, which aims at design and construction of the 3.4 meter optical telescope on top of Mount Gargish at the height of 3,600 meters above the sea level and all the other necessary activities related to this project. So uh, ISPS led the site selection for this project uh, for a long period, over six years, which is a, a heroic work done by uh, many ISPS and Zanja University members, led by Dr. Nasir. So the project is now going through its final stage of development before installation. Uh, just to give some ideas as uh, we speak, uh, the last phase of construction, which is basically the finishing work of the building, the clustering, piping, and door and windows installation is progressing. Um, uh, I should inform you that the structures have been built last year and the year before, including the telescope pier and uh, uh, enclosure building. Um, the telescope itself is being manufactured at the factory. All the parts have been built and assembled. And the next few months, we will test the telescope in motion uh, at the factory. Um, as you know, the primary mirror has already built uh, and delivered. And the secondary mirror is now going through the optical uh, test. Um, the dome is also under construction uh, at the factory. This is a like a 200 tons of dome made of steel and aluminium and to be erected uh, hopefully by autumn uh, this year at the site. Um, the, this progress uh, wouldn't have been possible without dedication and sacrifice that uh, we all have made uh, in the project, uh, and also without the help of our uh, stakeholders, which are the uh, Vice President of Civil Science and Technology, as well as the Budget and Planning Organization, and especially IPM, which is now hosting this uh, project. Uh, Iranian National Observatory puts a lot of value in scientific meetings and working with our colleagues in Iran and elsewhere. So we are looking forward to meeting you in person. But until then, uh, on behalf of the Iranian National Observatory, I wish you a good health and a very happy and successful meeting. Um, I had a few slides to show, but I don't think I'm able to. Oh, well, the presentation is now open. I'll just show you the live uh, uh, pictures that is now streaming from the site. Uh, I hope you are able to see these uh, pictures. This is a live video from the site. You see the enclosure building. Um, I can also show you some other facilities uh, at the site. This is the uh, already installed uh, uh, theme monitor and also wide field survey lens array system that has already been installed and uh, scientifically operational over the past few years um, and uh, the, the morning is just beginning for our uh, contractor at the site so they're getting ready to start working today uh, there are lots of uh, stuff at the uh, internet at Eno website uh, which you are welcome to log in and check it out for yourself that you have time. Okay, shall I stop here? Problem here, it's okay? Okay.
So um, before starting the first session, uh, I, um, I would like to, to give you some technical notes uh, uh, for, in order to avoid um, noise, we decided to don't show the, uh, the, the live chat list and the list of participants, but now we, do, we, we change our decision. So every, everyone can see the, the all users, yes? Thanks. Yes, I, yes, but uh, in that uh, moment, okay, yeah. So, yeah, so we can now see how many people are uh, currently uh, online, actually, and connected to, to this meeting. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> so some technical notes uh, for speakers, for the chair of sessions, and for um, the participants. Uh, please consider that this, this is uh, the first time that we actually use this platform, uh, this, uh, this modality. Uh, so please be patient if, uh, if there is any uh, technical issues. And uh, the talks will be recorded. And um, so the video will be uh, made available in, in, in our web page in a dedicated uh, section. So in case uh, some of you lose uh, some of talks, uh, you can watch it later. Um, uh, in the web page. Uh, yes, in the next two, three days, of course, not, not now. Uh, for question, uh, which is allowed at the end of each talk, uh, you can either raise your hand by clicking uh, on your name and uh, finding the option of rise, rising hand, set a status and rising hand, or either you can uh, use the live chat, which is in the uh, left, left or right, the left left side of uh, the screen and uh, you can easily type uh, your question and the chair of uh, each session will uh, organize uh, the questions and let the people to ask questions and um, everyone are more than welcome to ask questions because I, I think this is the most important part of each uh, conference and each talks and uh, we have two three talks in each session and uh, which, uh, which will be followed by 10 minutes uh, for question uh, uh, at, the, at the end. And um, yeah, that's it. I think there is nothing uh, more, but uh, yeah, before giving the word to Habib, uh, which is gonna be the, the, the chair of the, the first session uh, uh, in, uh, of today, I would like to thank you all again, and I hope you enjoy the, the event in the next couple of days. I'm sure that you will enjoy because we have uh, many, many uh, interesting talks. And so I would now stop here and give the word to Habib. Thank you very much. And Habib, please go ahead uh, to start the first session. I'm not sure if uh, the first speaker is now online or not. Is he online? So Habib, uh, yeah. Please go ahead. Yeah. Habib, you can have a Habib, microphone is passed. Habib, your your mic. We we don't have your uh, your. Voice. 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 Voice.